It's game one between the Colorado Avalanche and St. Louis Blues. And gentlemen, our coverage here on the fourth period brought to you by BitBuy. Use referral code code TFB to receive up to 50 bucks in free crypto while terms and conditions apply. Aaron, I'll ask you flat out, does this Colorado team, after sweeping the National Predators, when you look at them right now, have a weakness? Yeah, it's the eight days off. Uh, it's getting yourself mentally focused. It's, it's not relaxing too much. I mean, think about it. Basically, you know that there's a long journey ahead. It's inevitable that the coaching staff will tell the guys, especially coming off a long season, to take some time away from the rink. But it's getting back in that mode is difficult, right? So that mental state of having to practice and knowing that everybody else is still playing games and you're trying to resist the rust, resist backing off your approach or your, your preparation, all these things factor in. You can't discount the fact that come game one, there is a little bit of that voice in the back of your head saying this team just came off a series that was hotly contested and, and they're still in that mode. We have to find a way to match it. So Colorado, if anything, going into this series, they have to pay attention to. It's being immediately ready for game one, even though it's at home. Shane, when you look at this Colorado Avalanche team, I think we talked about this a little bit before. You said it wouldn't surprise you if they swept their way to the cup final. Care to explain? For, well, when Aaron says their weakness is they've had eight days off, what, what that tells me is they don't have a weakness. Uh, I mean, this is a team that didn't have a single player, a single player in their roster who played a game in that first round. And I know it was against Nashville, but they didn't have a single player under 50% expected goals. I don't know if that's ever happened before in a playoff series. I'm not saying it's likely that they sweep their way to the finals. I'm saying that, you know, there's a chance that they do it. For any team in the West, honestly, when you're looking at this, from forward standpoint, Colorado is deep as hell. And they're incredibly fast. I mean, St. Louis is going to encounter something that Minnesota was not capable of presenting. The decor. Usually you look at a team and say there's an identifiable weakness here. It's going to be goaltending D fours. If there's a weakness, your goalie took a stick to the face and got cut. And we'll see how he's managing from that, right? If it has any residual effect. But clearly, again, time off, opportunity to heal up, all those things. You have Kale McCarr and a pretty deep group on the D. And, and your forward, I mean, your forward grouping, it's a really tough matchup, right? To sit there, if, 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 I'm, if I'm the coaching staff for St. Louis, it's pick your poison. How do you assess where you allocate your assets to shut down Colorado? Because it's, it's, it's any line. On any given night, they have the ability to bury you. Final one for me, Shane. When you look at this team, yes, we talked about the Colorado Avalanche and, and how good they are. But if St. Louis is going to have a shot in this series, what do they need to do well? So Colorado does two really good things on offense that they probably need to focus on. If you're the Blues, they, in the first round, were first in the, in the league in shots from the slot and passes into the slot. And those are two incredibly efficient ways to generate offense. Obviously, they're able to do that because just about everyone on the uh, roster, except for maybe a couple guys in the fourth line, can handle and pass the puck way above league average. So... St. Louis needs to find some way to uh, cut off that route into the center of the ice. And then obviously if Bennington, you know, can stand on his head when they do get those chances, um, I think that's where you got to start. But like, good luck. Well, hey, listen, if anybody historically has stood on his head in the Stanley Cup playoffs, it's Bennington. So the guy's done it before. Maybe that's your rallying point for the St. Louis locker room is you got a guy who was, was basically second choice. Now it's his net to lose, basically. Gentlemen, thank you very much for this. Again, indeed, this should be a fun series between the Colorado Avalanche and St. Louis Blues. Game one gets underway a little bit later on tonight.